Five people are behind bars right now, accused of a chemical attack on an Arvada police officer. This happened near 68th and Beach early Sunday morning. And if you look at this map, you can see at the center of the screen where it happened. Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us the damage and explains why this attack could have been a lot worse. Yeah, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Neighbors say that there were these yellow signs that kind of warn drivers about the curve, and they were ripped out and thrown into the street. There's still holes where those signs were. And if you take a look over here, there's this white substance on the ground, and the neighbors say that's actually from the chemical bomb that these young men used. Neighbors say they just were really worried and confused because this area is really quiet. We're in West Arvada. In this sleepy Arvada suburb near the corner of West 68th and Beach. We've been in the neighborhood about 20 years. It's a beautiful day to enjoy. It's a beautiful area. I mean, quiet. You know, it's got the bike trail in the back. A stark difference from early Saturday morning when Stephen Cote and his neighbors. A bit after midnight, we got a knock on the door from a police officer. Asking whether he knew anything about a chemical attack just steps away from his home. We're all basically asked to stay in our house. While police tried to figure out what the chemical was and the danger it posed, Stephen worried. What is this? You know, like, um, yeah, your mind just starts racing, you know, like, you know, what could it be? Chemicals. Arvada police say a group of young men tore out street signs and threw them in the road to stop cars. When an officer arrived, a chemical bomb was thrown toward him. The officer was rendered unconscious and transported to the hospital. One other person was also injured. Today, Arvada police announced five arrests, all young men, four ranging in age from 18 to 20, one a juvenile. Each of them is facing five felony charges, including assault and possession of an incendiary device. And while things here are more or less back to normal, neighbors are still trying to understand if this was just a teenage prank or a serious attack. We kind of kid around that, you know, some of the goofy things that we might have done when we were kids, but it was never really you know, you know, actually hurt anybody. Hoping something like this never happens again. Just really, yeah, really bizarre for a quiet neighborhood. That officer was treated at the hospital and released and is recovering. The passerby was treated here on the scene and also released. We don't quite know yet when these signs are going to actually be replaced. In Arvada, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.